Good day, ladies and gentle cars. Welcome back once again. So we are here in F123 and this time it's going to be a short series about, um, well, let's call it race prep guide series, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, it's a series targeted for you F1 drivers here uh, on how to prepare for your league races and also your career mode races. You know, how do you take a look at the various aspect of race strategy, all the way from the tire selection, you know, setting up your tires correctly, getting a right setup and then race strategies wet try blah 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 100 percent race 50 percent race all those things you know uh, all those little tidbits that you may never have known that may have helped you uh, this is the little series that will uh, run towards the end of f123's game life cycle and uh, will you know kick off in f124 as well with these new tips in case there's anything new and just to give you a refresher uh, in the new games as well so stay tuned for that as well stay subscribed and if there's anything that you want me to cover in the next part of this series, leave it down in the description, uh, not description, <laughs> my bad. Uh, leave it down in the comment section. I will be taking a look at that every other day. And, uh, you know, once uh, I find, um, you know, the right amount of uh, things to put in into the next video, I'll, I'll compile that, including your uh, comments as well. So uh, that out of the way, I'll also like to invite you to my Discord server if you would like to, you know, see and uh, use my setups, uh, the, the setups that I developed uh, pretty much the entire, almost a year of this game. And you know, everyone loves it, right? So free setups and whatnot, uh, setup guides, uh, how to set up your car, making setup adjustments, everything is in this, in this uh, YouTube channel as well. And the links are also in the Discord server. I have a setup board in my server too, where you can come along and uh, just type in a command, for example, Japan, and it will show you the entire race strategy, uh, tire selection, everything that you need to know for Japan. So speaking of which, let's uh, get head into F1 world and maybe go into a Japan practice session here. If you're practicing for league race, chances are you'll be going into the multiplayer Grand Prix with your friends or your league mates. But if you have to do a solo practice, you'll probably be jumping into a Grand Prix session, which allows you to do a lot more. There's three practice sessions that you can do a lot of things. And if you're in career mode, you'll probably be in your career mode practice as well. So this applies to all, all of these three uh, categories, right? Whether you're just league racing practice or you're just doing uh, solo practice or you're just racing for fun for a certain online event that's in the game. So this uh, will just assume the usual league race format and most common used uh, league race and career mode format of uh, short qualifying with 50% race. Uh, if there's any changes, you know, things like 100% race, full qualifying and whatnot, all this will be covered in the next part of the series as well. So once again, if there's anything like you want me to cover or you're afraid I will not cover, make sure you leave that in the description. I will check that and I will make sure that is in the next video. So, step one, what do you want to do when you are coming into a race preparation? Obviously, you have a track that you want to go to, right? So let's be an example, we're going to Japan here. We have the tire allocation here, the tire selection, tire compounds, which is C3 soft, C2 as the medium, C1 as the hard tires here. So these are the harder compound of tires that are used in, in the game, right? In, in real life as well, which means, uh, as you can see in the graphic there, uh, the C1 tire and the C0 actually, uh, they have the same operating range of 100 to 110 C. Whereas if you go down softer, all the way from C2, C3, C4, and C5 to somewhere like Singapore that has C5, C5 is you know very soft, much faster, uh, has less tire life, but also less tire temperature to, it's easier to heat up the tires, right, from 90 to 100. So with that out of the way, say we are in Japan for this next race in, uh, in real life as well. So chances are you'll be doing this in your league race or just some uh, F1 events in the game. So let's head into Japan and you know set it up exactly like you want, right? If you want an equal performance session, whichever car you want, I'm just going with Carlos because you know, yay, Carlos won. The Australian GP will miss him after 2024 though. Uh, set up your session exactly as you need it, your assist, your difficulty, whatever it is. It doesn't matter if you're just chilling on 70 or 80 or 69 or at 110, uh, it's all up to you. So um, we'll start with the standard practice session here. I'll turn off that practice format because um, uh, the practice format 
uh, for now to explain the tire allocation uh, the tire selection i will turn off the practice format here so we'll go with the short qualifying and full qualifying to explain the difference here so i'll go with short, full qualifying and the medium race here and uh when you come to the weekend tire allocation right now once again just remind you we have a full qualifying and a 50 percent race so with full qualifying it unlocks the unlocks the q3 tires in the selection here if that's in your lobby so when you enter a lobby chances are you'll see something like this right exactly this usually so by default it will select the balance allocation in a full qualifying you'll get a four set of soft tires and one set of medium tires to use and usually you know you want to make sure that in q3 if you make it to q3 you want to use that q3 tire at least once right because that tire regardless of whatever happens in your life in the game that tire will be returned at the end of the session so when you progress from the qualifying session into the race session you're left with the q1 tires the q2 tires and the race tires which means you have six tires here in this case you have three softs two mediums and one hard tires most of the time you're going to be using balance allocation because if it's a normal session you know qualifying is over it proceeds to race no restarts so that means uh, you'll have to carry forward these used tires as well preferably if it's a short qualifying you know you don't have the q3 tire right just you have a uh, two softs a uh, three softs and one medium I like to use only two set of medium tires so you do your first lap on intermediates if that is allowed in your league otherwise you do two runs on your first set of q1 tire so the set number five and then on the set number six i like to do one last run at the end of the session and save that set number seven for the race so one fresh tire for the race so that means i'll have one fresh soft two fresh mediums and one fresh hard for the race all right so everything again is in the graphic there you can see uh, how it works out if it's confusing by the way i talk uh, let me know so i can improve on that thank you and let's say there's an alternate scenario here for example in some leagues you have uh, qualifying is in one lobby and then the lobby is restarted for the race in that case regardless if it's a short or full qualifying you want to select the softer allocation so you get five tires in full qualifying or four soft tires in short qualifying so that allows you to you know gives you a little bit more playing room in case you make a mistake on your first uh, hot lap itself you can immediately come back into the pits and potentially go out for another run you can squeeze in three or four runs in some tracks Austria you can squeeze in four tra four runs and maybe uh, you know somewhere like a long track like spa you can definitely squeeze in three three runs easily in short qualifying so once the qualifying lobbies finished right and then the lobbies remade for an for the race you want to select the harder allocation because well this will give you two set of softs two set of mediums and two set of hard tires and you ignore the q3 tire again right just to be just to be clear here so six tires two soft two medium two hearts and this will open up a lot of options for you in the race you can do a two stop with medium medium soft or medium hearts hard mediums if there's a safety car somewhere in between you know at the right time you can always switch your strategy to a two stop as well this will open up your flexibility in the normal case where the lobby is not restarted you are stuck with this usually all right the balance allocation so you have the q and the set number five let's talk by the numbers right as you can see it's easier set five and set six has been used in qualifying set seven is fresh and then the medium two and three is fresh hard two is fresh so you usually start mediums and go to the hard tires for the strategy or hard two mediums and let's say there's a safety car towards the last five seven laps i don't know you may want to select the soft tires you at least have a fresh tire here so one lap fresher tire in this game definitely makes a huge difference especially in uh, shorter races like 50 percent 25 percent and 35 percent races in 100 percent one lap fresher tire 
doesn't matter too much uh, there's very minimal difference because there's less tire wear right in it's fully scaled up to 100 percent so now you're done with the tire selection here and uh i will go back to this uh to this thing for this practice format i'll turn it on to full right now we're going to go into the practice session and i will give you five easy practice programs to do that will help you to set up your tire pressures and your tire strategy correctly for the dry tires and the wet tires for the race and qualifying so let's enable full practice uh, qualifying just follow whatever you have i'll just keep it at short here and then i like to set my sessions to try for fp1 and then fp2 or fp3 i'll set it uh, come back and set it to, to wets or you can go with dynamic if you want that as well uh, once you're done with that and then uh, I will keep the tire selection at balance, you know, just assuming uh, things are going to be staying the same, right? So everything is selected correctly and you start the session. So heading into FP1, you have to take note that the grip in practice sessions, especially practice one, is very low. Uh, it gets better as the cars are running on track. So towards the end of practice one, practice two practice three the grip will improve and come qualifying you're immediately half a second quicker than practice already maybe even one second quicker sometimes in certain tracks so practice program number one how do you set the tire pressures correctly for all sort of scenarios so number one you come in you select your setup first of all that's the most important thing right uh, if you have a setup already and then I'm selecting my Japan. This is my low downforce setup here. I'm using 34, 26 swings here. Uh, but if you want to use higher downforce to be a little bit more comfortable in the race, right? Uh, then you can always just use plus three, plus four wings, plus two wings, whatever you want. Okay, so I have this as my dry setup. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use, um, you know, uh, you want to make sure you are using the right amount of fuel. So head over to the last step and see how many race laps are there on the right hand side 27 laps is what it's done in japan for 50 percent race so head back into your setup and then put in 27 laps at least plus you know in japan there's a lot of fuel burn so i like to put at least 2.5 laps for japan right so 29.5 is recommended when you're running 50 percent race in japan in the dry and just for this outlap in this practice, right? I'm going to add one more lap of fuel. And uh, I'm going to be running this set amount of tire pressure, for example. So 23.5, that is 15 clicks on the front. And then 21.0, that is 10 clicks on the rear. So this is just a starting point, right? This is not the final pressure, for example, maybe for you. So you take this as the starting line. And then uh, once again, you know, if you want to know what are the starting pressures, you can always check in the setup guys that i have or also in my setup board in the discord server it's all provided there for free so come on there i'll see you there now go out on track with the hard tires so you know just let's speed through this you'll see uh you know uh in this case the hard tires the c1 in japan right the c1 tires their operating range is from 100 to 110 i'll leave that tooltip over there once again so you want to make sure when you're doing your race simulation here five laps to ten laps at least they are between 100 to 110 all the time right so hey george you can go with the george wherever it is and yeah make sure they are in the right temperature range if they are not in the right temperature let's say you know you're doing 10 laps already and still after 10 laps the tire pressures on the hearts the tire temperature on the hearts they are around 95 to 96 you know i'm going slow of course but on full speed they're low then what you want to do is you go back into the pits and increase the starting tire pressure if let's say the tires are too hot you know after you do five laps even two or three laps the tires are above 110 which is above the recommended amount for this uh, c1 tire right so again you go back into the pits you can restart the session as well because you only have one hard tire in this practice so you go back to the session 
and then adjust the pressure so let's say i want to reduce it by five clicks overall i like to adjust it in tandem in together right if i go minus one on the front i'll go minus one on the rear as well it keeps the car balance just about the same sometimes there's a little bit of difference when you only adjust the front or rear so i'm reducing it by five clicks overall and then i'll go back out on the hard tires again and try out the same uh, the race simulation so that is practice program number one if the pressures are okay uh, suitable on the hard tires 99 percent of the time it will suit you on the medium tires and soft tires right so which leads us to practice program number two which is use the medium tires take the same fuel take the same adjusted pressures that you have now you know for example this is the pressures i like now on the hard tires take this and go out again on the hard, on the medium tires so the reason why you want to repeat this on the same fuel load is because well medium tires are going to heat up easier than the hard tires and you want to make sure the medium tires are not overheating during the race practice session right so if you do this now let's say we go out on track so the medium tires 98 to 107 right uh, in this track just keep it simple we ignore the 0.5 so 98 to 107 and let's say i do 10 laps or so and then the tire pressures are the tire temperatures are in the correct range here right so let's say they are at 101 102 all the time so that is just about nice you know they're in the middle oh my god went on the grass there so yeah they're in the perfect range and then you box and then practice program number two is done simple right it gets progressively easier from here once you have set a baseline on the hard tires and then practice program number three you want to reduce your fuel load to about maybe 10 laps or so because you want to be practicing on the soft tires this time around uh, most likely you won't be starting the race on the on the soft tires here but let's say you plan to then make sure you use this uh, practice program number three for that purpose as well on the full fuel load and then same tire pressures go out again most of the time though soft tires you're only using it in qualifying and towards the late part of the race where there's less fuel the car is lighter and the track is rubbered in so you know the soft tires are the fastest tire to use let's say a safety car comes out with eight laps to go in japan you can go mediums or the soft tires so if i selected mediums for some reason then you know i'll just i'm okay with the pressures but if i selected the soft tires for the last thing under the safety car right so the fresh soft tires so i want to make sure you know this pressure that i'm using here will be okay in the actual race session so same thing set your tire pressures set about 10 laps of fuel plus one or two right just for the outlap and the extra fuel burn and then uh, go out on track and do the same thing so you're gonna do the same practice run again make sure for japan at least you know it's 95 to 105 degrees celsius all the time you may notice during race simulations at any track if the soft tires are you know at the higher range of temperature right in this one it should be 95 to 105 if they are touching 102 103 104 uh, that is still okay right as long as they are not exceeding 105 you will be fine uh, driving smoothness also uh, plays a factor in this and also uh, you know uh, downforce plays a factor sometimes lower downforce uh, has lower overall tire temperature uh, whereas higher downforce is easier to it is easier to increase your tire pressures tire temperatures naturally All right so you're done with practice program number three and then uh, you want to come back into the pits and then what you're going to do next is practice program number four which is for qualifying so qualifying you're going to be using the soft tires once again once you're done with your practice three for now program number three for you know soft tires on the race fuel you want to be now you know select a new tire of course uh drop the fuel load all the way down to minimum maybe maximum of 10 laps you know if you can do two or three hot laps you know with gaps in between right so take the same tire pressures and go do your practice runs on the hot lap ers mode enabled all right now the thing about uh, qualifying sessions is sometimes the tire pressures that you use in your race may not be suitable for the qualifying sometimes it overheats in certain tracks sometimes it is 
under heats it's a bit cold in certain tracks so with this practice program this will help you to identify if you need to increase or decrease your tire pressures for qualifying so for example i found out for my japan run that actually uh, in qualifying i needed to increase the tire pressure so i actually went up one uh, half psi on the front and rear together so that way i have a little bit more stability also in high speed uh, you know higher tire higher pressures tend to be a little bit more stable uh, as long as you don't over pressure the tires and uh, yeah it just helps with the car balance a little bit it, it felt a little bit more stable for me it may not for you but you can always try it out so good thing to remember there now that is done let's say uh, you know you arrive back at the starting point here which is your tire pressures that you want for your race so practice program number four is done and practice program number five well if you can guess it's going to be for the wet tires so this one I'll, I'll put the wets and intermediate tires together in one practice program because uh, you know well you can uh, you know maybe go into fp2 fp3 with a full wet session or light rain session and then you want to repeat the same thing right you want to do the practice program one two three four but do it with the wets and intermediate tires so Basically, you do a full fuel run, you do a half fuel run, and you do a qualifying run on the wet tires and intermediate tires. Make sure the intermediate tires are between 80 to 90, and then the wet tires are between 70 to 80 when it's, you know, when the rain is at the normal level. When it starts to dry up or gets heavier, you'll notice the temperatures will also change. So that is the time for you to change tire compound as well. And that is it. Pretty much, uh, as detailed as it can be when it comes to selecting your tires correctly in f123 and setting up the pressures correctly and all that stuff so part two uh, in in a couple of days is going to be covering about your fuel levels which is uh, whether you want to go for high downforce or low downforce uh, which will affect the overall fuel that you will need and that also we will cover a little bit about uh, you know things that you can change for dry to wet for your setups and that also comes into play for you know the fuel so fuel uh, downforce levels and uh, dry wet conditions so these three things will be in part two i will see you in the next one so hopefully this has helped you a lot share this around with your league mates uh, you know challenge them to beat you or you know if they are slow you know uh, you know this will help them to give you a little bit of challenge and uh, yeah and also if you just love these tips in general let me know in the comments because well i love to hear your feedback there's a lot of things sometimes i get it wrong and you guys you know whether in a nice way or a bad way you, you like to uh give me a feedback and i really appreciate that so i'm looking forward to see your comments your feedback as well in the comment section maybe in the server as well i'll see you soon in the next one take care everyone till then stay safe stay safe into turn one no heroics please bye bye